Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Nervos, CKB. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, Nervos. Yeah, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, all that other stuff. Okay, nervous, nervous, nervous. It's making me nervous. Okay, so on the weekly time frame, uh, I haven't made a video on this in quite some time now, but uh, we've been in this falling wedge, just like almost every other crypto. If you look at almost every crypto chart, uh, falling wedges all around. Um, yeah, like participation trophies that are everywhere. Okay, so uh, we just broke out of this falling wedge, which is great news. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is I, I pulled a Fibonacci from the bottom, from this bottom over here to this top up here. And if you follow my channel, the 1272, that's where the fall went to is the 1272. The last video I made, I think we were dancing around this blue line right here. That's why I have this blue line here. We've been holding it, holding it, holding it, holding it. FTX, and now we're going back up. And that might have been the spring that we needed for you know, this kind of move to the upside. Now, one thing that is a little concerning is um, this massive wick we got going on the weekly time frame here. So uh, there's still six days, 18 hours, but that was a big pump and then a big pushback. So uh, when we go down to lower time frames, I haven't even looked at the lower time frames. So we'll look at it together, see what happened there. Massive wick got, got just obliterated at this 786. Fibonacci, which is also uh, previous support, now turned resistance. It, you know, I don't think it's going to be that big of support. I think that this was the big push down. If we get up here again, I think we're going to break through. Really, there was not really much going on around this area except for this right here. Just a couple of weeks of support and then a fall. And I mean, we had way, way more support down here. Look at all these weeks. And then that was the FTX. So that doesn't really count. We broke right back above that. But we are breaking out here to the upside, which is good. Uh, the 55 EMA for this is sitting roughly around 00633, something or other. By the time we get up there, I'm going to assume it's going to fall down to around this cluster here. Um, we can expect to see a lot of resistance right around this area here, uh, which we already started. We saw the, the beginning there, but just in this area, I mean... I can imagine if we do get this breakout to hold, uh, we're going to be dancing sideways here for quite a while, uh, a few months, maybe longer, um, because of the amount of resistance here, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but eventually, once we break above this 55 EMA, which uh, once we do that, um, it's a lot of blue sky, man. You, you break above that, you got a little bit of resistance, you know, this whole resistance here. This is actually right here is going to be your next, your next uh, spot right there. Uh, so right around the 0088, uh, that's going to be roughly your next spot of resistance that you need to pay attention to, which was resistance, 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 and then breakthrough and then support. And it fell through again, but that's where we're going to find it next. But for right now, we need to worry about right in here. So... What kind of percentages are we looking at from where we're at right now? Just to get up to this 618 here, which I think is going to be the first set of resistance, we're looking at a 32% move. Uh, that's pretty good. And that's just from where we're at right now. When we go down to the lower time frames, we'll see what's going on down there. We had the green dot show up down here on the trend directional, uh, which is lined up with you know a drop afterwards, but then the big push to the upside after that. Um, now let's go down to the daily. Before I start rambling too much, I tend to do that. So on the daily, so we had been hitting this 55. We broke above it here, but then we hit the resistance here, fell down. We finally broke above the 55 on the daily, and then we broke above the massive resistance, this horizontal line here, not horizontal, this diagonal line here. Uh, we are in the green on the RSI right now. Yes, which in my opinion is a good thing. So in one day, we came up, had a... What kind of move was that in this one day? Just this day, we had a 32% move. My goodness. Nice. And then it got pushed almost all the way back down, um, which is fine. I mean, this was a W pattern right here on the daily. So we had 
W pattern play out here. So the price target's already played out um, with that 32% move. So, I mean, it's actually played out more because this the price target actually was this first move here. So, I mean, was the first move up and then we came down to retest it and then we shot up again, um, which wasn't even part of the W price target. So that W pattern is kind of, you know, already done with. But uh, really what we need to see, very, very important now that the weekend is over, we had our weekend fun. Uh, now the weekend is over, we need to see it hold above this pink line here. Um, if we can't hold above that pink line, I think we're, I think it's going to get in trouble. We do not want it to fall back into this wedge because we're already towards the end of the wedge. And if we fall back into the wedge around this point here, that means we had a fake out to the upside, and that can be, spell some really bad news uh, for the future. Could be possible, you know, the fake out to the upside could fall even further. So. Definitely, now that we're out of it, we need to stay above it. So pay attention to that. Um, let's drop down to the 12 hour. Oh, yeah, the 12 hour, as we speak, is even above the 200 EMA, uh, which is why my candle is green. Um, but we are. Oh, we don't even have a divergence yet either here, which is not bad, which is good. But I do think that sideways or even a retest down here is likely. Um, we got okay volume coming in here uh right now we had more volume on this candle right here uh but it's getting there we still have five and a half hours to go uh go down to the four hour so here's our divergence right here so uh this is where it's gonna it's gonna fall back down here in the short term so we've got i was waiting for that the higher high right here on the price but the lower high here on the rsi so there's our divergence. I was waiting for something like that to show up. Uh, that's telling me that we're going to have some dancing around here for quite a while, uh, possibly a few days, uh, maybe up to Wednesday. Wednesday seems to usually be a big day for um, the markets. Um, so pay attention to that. So maybe sideways action till Wednesday. Like I said, daily, especially weekly candle. Uh, I would not like to see it close inside uh, of this wedge again which would be you know beneath my pink line here uh so just again pay attention to that that's pretty much it for the nervous network it, it's looking i mean that's great a lot of things happened uh today <laughs> and i think yesterday too um where we were breaking out and a lot of coins have been breaking out of massive resistance uh from you know i mean gala is just went nuts uh i think jasmine coin another coin i follow is broken out of a falling wedge uh, internet computer protocol icp is broken out of its wedge there's a lot of good stuff going on for the markets to have a nice reversal hopefully and uh, we can finally uh, get out of this bear market and have a slow long grind up to the top again for a bear, uh, bull market which we won't reach a bull market uh, in my opinion until probably 2024 2025 uh, the top of the bull market i should say we can go sideways for a little bit and can you know, slowly gradually go up or even see a nice retracement. I mean, let's see what a retracement would look like for the, the uh, nervous right here. If we go from this top right here to that bottom, I mean, hold on. I need to put uh, this back on. So we're looking at a possible retracement up to zero to oh, just over one cent. Uh, to the 618 if we don't keep going further than that i mean that's i mean just seeing that happen you know we retrace them up there we're looking at a good 200 to 300 percent move to get that retracement now if we do get up there now actually the retracement price you know at this 382 right here which is where the 55 ema is so we could see something happen where we you know finally we come back down and we go up we hit this 55 ema we come back down we form a larger double bottom here and then we come up and then we start our stair step. So we come up, we hit that 618, we come back down, we retest down here, we go up, hit that 786, come back down. I mean, even just where my lines are at right now, that's putting us into late 2023, September 2023, just doing these lines. So, I mean, there's that's where we start our step, stair step to the upside, hopefully. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we did get the breakout, so that's good news. And uh, we'll just have to pay attention for the next couple of days. It's very important, in my opinion, to the end of the week, really. But uh, another thing I wanted to point out really quickly is we had a bullish divergence come in here on the weekly, which is good news uh, for the coin. So 
Uh, from here to there, it was going down. But uh, from the RSI, I'm lying to you. I don't know where I just saw that. <laughs> I am lying. Sorry. There's no divergence there. Anyway, we broke out. Uh, yeah, if you... That's what I got to say. <laughs> I could have sworn I just saw it for a second there. Anyway, oopsies. But man, we're still moving. 15, uh, almost 16% now. We were just at 12% when I first started this video. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm rambling. So uh, yeah, thanks for uh, watching. And I hope this was uh, helpful. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, share, all that other stuff. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, thank you. Talk to you later.